Hello guys and welcome back again to another Ripple news update. Now today we have a news concerning uh, Jade McCullab, that and more as we also have news concerning Jim Cramer and the XRP price predictions so do consider sticking around until the end. But first off let's start with Jade McCullab and Jade McCullab actually dumps 100 million XRPs in past week receiving more than 365 million from Ripple. Now, according to the XRP scan platform, uh, since April 4, uh, the co-founder of Ripple XRP, Jade McCullab, um, has actually released 100.8 million XRPs. Now, on April 6th, McCullab received a whopping 364,768,000 757 XRPs from Ripple and this is data that's coming from XRP scan and at the present exchange rate of XRP this uh, amount of XRP coins constitutes an amount more than 139 million US dollars. Now the Ripple's co-founder and the first CTO has actually made nine transactions carrying a total of 100.8 million XRPs from his Taco Stand digital wallet. Of course, each of them bore either 12 million or 8.4 million XRP tokens, and today's transaction was worth 8.4 million XRPs only itself. Now, something also you should know is that prior to the transfer on April 4, Jade McCullab had actually taken a month-long break from, re uh, from releasing XRP, and uh, also the date of the previous sale was actually March 4 when uh, more than uh, 9 million XRPs were withdrawn. Now when Jade McCullough actually left Ripple Labs which uh, actually began as OpenCoin, that's what they named it first, OpenCoin, he received a compensation of 9 billion XRP coins for co-founding the entity and his help as a CTO. Now, the settlement agreement prevented him from selling all 9 billion coins at once to prevent a price collapse to zero and for that reason Jade initiated large XRP sales only in 2018. Approximately 6 million XRPs were initiated then while the rare largest amount he sold prior to that was only 3 million coins. And uh, if you remember on December 6, 2020 McCaleb dumped as much as 29.5 million XRP coins. So he's been dumping more, more and more as times go by. And uh, when it comes to uh, researcher expecting XRP sales to rise, the researcher Leonidas Hajilusu has actually tweeted that this week, Jade McCaleb allegedly plans to sell 8.4 million XRPs daily as of April 18, and Jade is likely to increase sales to more than 40 million XRPs per day. And uh, with those type of numbers and at the current pace, Jade McCaleb may actually run out of XRPs by the month of August of this year and uh, by then we won't be seeing any more of Jade McCaleb cells but of course he if increases the amount of dumping XRPs to 40 plus million then his XRP stash will dry up earlier than that. To find out more on that we'll have to wait and see if he does it or not and we'll be the first one to let you know guys. Now moving on to another story um, the America's most famous stock picker is actually diving deeper into the Bitcoin rabbit hole and uh, this uh, famous stock picker is Jim Kraber, none other than and of course he's the longest and the long time host of CNBC's Mad Money and he has just tweeted that he wants to get paid in the top cryptocurrency Bitcoin. Now as we reported Kramer bought Bitcoin for the first time last September as an inflation hedge in spite of being critical of it in the past but after that he started advocating for companies adding coins to their balance sheets and video game retailer GameStop saving itself with crypto. Now during the Monday broadcast of Squawk Box he actually said he views Bitcoin as a store of value while adding that the whole crypto market could actually reach more than three trillion dollars very very soon. And CNBC reportedly pays its biggest star about $5 million US dollars a year for numerous shows. And apart from being known as a constantly screaming CNBC anchor, Jim Cramer also ran a hedge fund and co-founded financial news site TheStreet.com. And his personal net worth is currently sitting at around $150 million 
which is far below 100 uh, which is actually far below the 1999 when his stake in the street.com alone was worth 255 million during the height of the dot com bubble now of course in december the american football offensive tackle russell okung announced also that he had started receiving half of his 13 million salary in bitcoin back then it was viewed as a bearish sign with critics comparing okung's move to supermodel giselle choosing paychecks in euro in 2007 right before it topped against the dollar in 2007 so he's been dumping more more and more as times go by and uh, when it comes to uh, researcher expecting xrp sales to rise the researcher leonidas hajilusu has actually tweeted that this week jade mccaleb allegedly plans to sell 8.4 million xrps daily as of april 18 and jed is likely to increase sales to more than 40 million xrps per day and uh, with those type of numbers and at the current pace jane mccallum may actually run out of xrps by the month of august of this year and uh, by then we won't be seeing any more of jade mccallum sales but of course he if increases the amount of dumping xrps to 40 plus million then his xrp stash will dry up earlier than that to find out more on that we'll have to wait and see if he does it or not and we'll be the first one to let you know guys now moving on to another story um the america's most famous stock picker is actually diving deeper into the bitcoin rabbit hole and uh, this uh, famous stock picker is jim craber none other than and of course he's the longest and the long time host of cnbc's mad money and he has just tweeted that he wants to get paid in the top cryptocurrency bitcoin now as we reported kramer bought bitcoin for the first time last september as an inflation hedge in spite of being critical of it in the past but after that he started advocating for companies adding coins to their balance sheets and video game retailer gamestop saving itself with crypto now during the monday broadcast of squawk box he actually said he views Bitcoin as a store of value while adding that the whole crypto market could actually reach more than $3 trillion very, very soon. And CNBC reportedly pays its biggest star about $5 million US dollars a year for numerous shows. And apart from being known as a constantly screaming CNBC anchor, Jim Cramer also ran a hedge fund and co-founded financial news site TheStreet.com and his personal net worth is currently sitting at around 150 million dollars which is far below 100 uh, which is actually far below the 1999 when his stake in the street.com alone was worth 255 million during the height of the dot com bubble now of course in december the american football offensive tackle russell okung announced also that he had started receiving half of his 13 million salary in bitcoin and back then it was viewed as a bearish sign with critics comparing okung's move to supermodel giselle choosing paychecks in euro in 2007 right before it topped against the dollar in 2007 fast forward to april it's safe to say that skeptics were clearly in the wrong and the nfl star has doubled his money so yeah that's what i have for you thank you very much for watching see you until the next update bye, -bye.